Now I'm about to do something really fun on this channel. If you're a new tire or you haven't been subscribed very long, I think you're gonna like this one. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So have you ever asked yourself, why do we tie flies? Well, there are a lot of valid reasons that we get into the sport. Uh, first off, you might have got into it thinking, oh, I'm gonna save some money. Well, you'll probably quickly learn that that's not usually the case. Another reason, it's just really rewarding to tie up something yourself that you end up fooling a fish with. And another reason, probably my favorite one, is that it's just fun. It can be really cool to sit down at the bench, experiment, come up with some crazy new pattern, take it out on your river or lake, and see how it does. So that's what I did today. I flipped through several books just looking for inspiration, trying to come up with some crazy Thanksgiving-themed pattern. So obviously a Thanksgiving themed pattern, it's gotta have a little bit of turkey in it and then maybe some orange and brown because you know, it's kind of fall Thanksgiving colors. So you're about to see the one that I came up with and who knows if this thing will ever catch fish, but I think if it's fished right, surely it'll catch something. So in a nutshell, that's my advice for new tires. Don't be afraid to sit down at the bench and just experiment, go crazy. Who knows who's gonna come up with the next Copper John. And one other thing that makes fly tying and having a YouTube channel so much fun is I get to do some things like I'm about to do right now. I just got the ad revenue from October in and we had a pretty good month. I have spent uh, a good bit of that on buying some books and some toolkits that I'm gonna be giving out in December, but I have about 50 bucks left over. So I thought it's about time we do a name the fly contest. And we've done a few of these before, and it can be really a lot of fun. I get some crazy, crazy names in the comments. So this is how it works. Think up some cool sounding name that we can call this fly you're about to watch. Leave it in the comments. I'll let it run for a couple of days. Uh, my kids and I will look at all the comments and, and we'll pick the, the most fun sounding name. And I'll send the winner a $50 gift card to Jay Stockard. Just one way to encourage, you know, lots of folks to comment and to give back to you, the fly tying community. So this was a pretty fun pattern. I had a lot of fun tying it. I think you're gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, my 2021 Thanksgiving fly. Kind of crazy looking, but a lot of fun to tie. And I'm gonna tie this on a size six. This is a five extra long streamer hook. Let's go ahead and pinch that barb. Okay, that looks good. And I'm stepping up my thread. It's a streamer, so I'm gonna go to a 140 denier in brown and I will lay a base down to the bend of the hook. Now I told you this is going to be a predominantly turkey fly, so my tail is going to be turkey slips. And I am using two because this turkey I've got, it's a mottled Ozark turkey, and one side of the, the slips are really dull and one side are are a little bit more vibrant and bright. So I am using two slips and I'll do a semi pinch wrap right there, fold it over and I've got two wraps. Now let's get it situated. That's not coming off the top exactly like I want. And I'd say it's up to you if you want the, the tips flared up or flared down. I think up looks kind of good. So let's go ahead and catch this in. That should be fine right there. It's coming off the top for the most part. So several wraps get that caught in. Now let's just snip off this excess right here. I wanna to try to do it at an angle. We do have a big body, big thick body. So you don't have to worry about getting a perfect taper here, but whatever you can do will surely help. Okay, so let's take the thread back to where we're gonna catch in a rib. And the rib on this, I'm just gonna use a, a brown floss. It's not a whole lot thicker than thread, maybe a, a 210 denier thread if you got that in brown, or brown floss. I'm gonna double it over just like that so that I'm gonna be wrapping two strands of it because I want a pretty thick rib with this big orange chenille body I'm about to put on. Now let me just park this over here to the side with my magnet and let's catch in the chenille. I'm gonna be using a medium and orange. Again, Thanksgiving colors. So I've stripped off a little bit till I just have the, the bare thread core right there. So eh, let's get that caught in. Couple of wraps. I need to take it just a little bit farther back. I don't wanna to have to wrap it up over itself. 
So I want my first wrap to be the first one that's putting any chenille down. Okay, now we can take our thread back up to the front. Don't get too far up front because we got a lot going on up here too. So maybe, you know, however far back that is. Four eye lengths, I guess. Now just wrap this up, touch and turns, all the way up to where your thread is. Okay, I think that is far enough. Let's catch this off and see what we got. Okay, a couple extra wraps just for good measure. Now let's wrap this rib. Now counter wrap it if you want. I'm not gonna really spin these too much together. I don't want a rope. I want it to be about as fat as I can make it to really mat down a good bit of this orange chenille. Now I debated on this, whether I should put a hackle on it or not, and I thought about just doing a throat hackle, but I'm gonna wrap it as a collar and then maybe push it down as a throat. We'll see. This is just a brown, kind of a light brown hen. Not much to it at all. Let's get our thread back a little bit though. Okay, let's catch it in right here, concave side toward the hook. Couple wraps, all this is going to take, and go forward. Now we can snip this off. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers here. I'm not putting much on here. We've still got two more components after this little bit of hackle here. So let's just, oh, I think two wraps is going to give us plenty. Okay, yeah, that's going to be plenty right there, but I need to back this thread up. Let's go two turns back so I can catch this off back here where I finish wrapping it. Okay, two wraps caught that off. Now let's snip off the front piece right here. And I'm going to sweep it back a little bit and then I'll make the call whether I want to push it down or not. You know what? I like that right there. I'm going to leave that as is and tie in my next component. And I'm going to use coyote tail. Now I know a lot of people don't have coyote tail. If you don't, I think calf tail is going to be about the same kind of fiber. It's going to be crinkly like this. And if you have a white or natural calf tail, I think that's going to look pretty good. If you don't have that, I'd probably put some, you know, bucktail but just get the really the crinkliest and the poopiest bucktail you have and tie that on all right so let's get this oh pretty long right here and the main purpose of this I think is to get us a little bit of separation with our turkey wings we're gonna be putting on it here shortly okay so that yeah that's fine that's a little bit bushy but I think we can live with that Let's go in here and snip this off pretty close. Now I'm gonna spend just a few wraps trying to smooth this out right here. My thread is widening out on me. I don't want it to do that just yet. I might at the end in a minute, but not yet. Okay, so we've got our thread oh, close to the back of the head. Now. Let's get two matching slips of turkey feather. I'm using the same model turkey that I use, and I'm cutting them pretty thin. I want it to be long and thin. And I'm gonna tie them in one at a time. I could put them together and then tie them in right on top, but then they would be together. And I want this coyote tail, or calf tail if that's what you're using, to separate my turkey feathers just a little bit. So get your length right there. I think that's gonna be good. And let's just catch it in right on top, but kind of uh, on the far side of the hook. So let's do a, a loose pinch wrap right there and then pull it tight as we get on, come up on this side. 
Okay, is that... Yeah, that's going to be fine. Let's go one more wrap right there. And I'm not going to snip this front piece off just yet. I'll do that after I tie in the other one. And the other one is just right here on my side. So kind of turn your hook if you need to. And we'll do the same thing with a little bit of that coyote tail separating these turkey feathers. Okay, take a look at that. That looks fine. They're about the right length I want. And I have a little bit of that fuzz in between them. So I'm gonna go back and just take maybe one more wrap going back right here. And a couple more wraps going forward before I snip this off. And we are gonna put a big old head on this because we've got one more cool thing we're gonna do on the head. So let's go ahead, now you could let your thread flatten out if you want, but let's just ramp this up and try to get a, a smooth tapered head right here. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. It's a little bit big of a head, but we're gonna do something pretty cool with it here in a second. We're gonna put a band around it. So let's go ahead and whip finish our brown thread right here. And I've got a little old tag in sticking out. See if I can take care of that. That's gonna be fine. But what I'm talking about now, I'm gonna take some orange thread just uh, 70 denier orange and I'm going to try and put a band on this right in the middle of this head and it'll take several wraps so catch it in and now let's snip off this tag end and now just put as many wraps as you think you need to get a, a pretty neat looking little band Okay, I think that's gonna work. Let's see if we can whip finish this orange right on top of the orange without it bleeding over into our, our brown here. Okay, that was kind of fun. Now let's just put some UV resin on it, see if we can get it nice and hard and shiny. All right, that looks like a little bit more than I wanted to put on there. Let's see if I can pull some of that off. All right, that'll work. Let's harden it up. All right, there we go. Now's the time if you've got any cleanup. Wings are splayed out, but I kind of did that on purpose. I, I think that's gonna look okay through the water. But there you go, pretty fun tie. The as yet unnamed 2021 Thanksgiving fly. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.